Folks, Saturday night, welcome aboard. It's time for Calamity. Uh, yes, that adjective and this game. Thanks for joining us. If this is your first time, welcome aboard. If you've been here before, thank you very much for returning. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool things like a throw pillow, a shower curtain, a phone case, check out our store down below. Uh, also, most importantly, big thing here, if you want to be on our talk show on Tuesdays, not this week, or a one-shot next Saturday, M Hobo Inc., Twitter and Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. Uh, big shout out to Pirate Dog Dice. May use Big Red tonight. Uh, and you'll understand why a little bit later. So if you want some custom dice, go ahead and hit up at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. Tell them what you want. See if they can go ahead and handle it. And if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells great. Or it smells like roses and uh, buttercups or something. Uh, try some adventure scents from oddfishgames.com. Uh, they make a variety of pleasant and unpleasant aromas, as Kyle uh, almost fatally found out. Uh, check that out. They also make the Shine System, so if you want to write games gooder than me, check out their Shine System. They also have How to RPG with Your Cat coming to Kickstarter soon. We will let you know all about that. Like I said, this is Calamity. Let's introduce you to the players before we give a brief recap before going into the abyss we will start with scott scott who are you and who are you playing hi my name is scott i am playing a uh, elf <coughs> uh, no i'm not playing an elf i'm <laughs> sorry I'm engaged playing... players that's what we like <laughs> oh yeah that's <laughs> obvious in our show <laughs> i'm playing uh, i'm playing i'm playing um i'm right here he is a monk um, and he has uh, chosen, um, you know, to kind of investigate the real understanding of life and death, more death in this in this case, uh, to try to understand exactly what it is. Very, very shaken up when he ran into this well, this undead skeleton looking thing in a vera one time. It really freaked him out. He doesn't trust that anything is truly dead anymore. And that's why I'm playing. Yeah, that, that, that freaked you out. Speaking of freaking out, uh, hey. David, <laughs> tell us about you. Tell us about your character in uh, less than tell 11 minutes. Tell us about your dad. In less than 11 <laughs> minutes. Son of a bitch. Uh, yeah. You know, Frank, I think I need pirate dog dice to make me new percentage die. <laughs> I think you're rolling great. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm David. Tonight I'll be playing Ingve. Uh, he is the human druid... Uh, Circle of the Shepherd, who's still dealing with the traumatic loss of both his family members and most recently his father, who suffered for 11 excruciating minutes due to my <laughs> rolling. <laughs> oh Seven man, minutes, I rolled a d12, thought 11 was great. Nope. So, booty who? <laughs> Uh, next up is Jesse. Jesse, same question, different answers. Uh, I am Jesse. I am playing the uh, Leonin Ranger Azari. I have yet to find out how my family member has possibly been whatever Frank has planned for them yet. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah. Last but certainly not least, Dave, who is a beloved family member. Well, one of them. That's uh, still alive. So, you know. You got that going for you, Dave. Tell us about your character. One out of two, not bad. I'm Rob. Um, you can find me at Cthulhu Rob on them things, and uh, <laughs> you can find me here on Murder Hobo playing Dave on the Calamity campaign, and occasionally popping in for a one shot. Still, um, my character's Dave of Ba. He's uh, recently found out that the gods are reaching out through him and helping him smash their enemies. So, little radiant light shattering down here through his axe, or at least that's what Dave thinks is going on. So. Um, <laughs> Dave, Dave has decided that in, in honor of um, own god, Elon, he's going to paint half his face as a skull from now on. Dave really needs to watch the YouTube archives because I don't remember any of that. <laughs> you don't remember radiant damage, huh, Frank? 
Uh, I, I do. I believe someone else uh, remembers that, and that would be Peck Peck. Uh, the party has found a new NPC as an individual named Peck Peck of a different tribe is also seeking out those who have stolen his uh, friends, family, and loved ones. Little Hunter. Fortunately for Peck Peck, uh, I believe all of his people are still alive because Ingve hasn't had to roll for that yet. Uh, these guys, <laughs> these guys, find themselves on the shoreline of a large river, uh, getting further and further away from their home in Ba, uh, a site of a horrific kidnapping where a large number of the civilian population was hauled away by brigands and slavers. These guys have been hot on the trail, as we pointed out. Dave has managed to find his aunt. Ingave managed to find his father and cradle the man for 11 minutes as pus oozed out of the man's pores in a wretched death. It was sad. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty sad. Uh, Tonight, uh, we pick up where we left off. Dave and Peck Peck did not get off on the best of footing, as Dave may or may not have been responsible for Peck Peck being launched over the <laughs> tusks of a giant boar. Uh, Peck Peck completely responsible. Uh huh. Yeah. Peck Peck disagrees. Uh, <laughs> so let us start the day anew. Uh, good news your boat is still. Or, boat in quotation marks is still beached uh but it is present uh the river continues to rush uh away from you and uh peck peck still a little grouchy over the entire boar incident and you guys turning a bunch of little borlings into orphans uh that part didn't bother him as much as being body checked into a tree and knocked unconscious uh so as day begins anew what would you like to do hmm. and you are on the right side of the river right side of the river okay we're still in the village right or no we made our way out okay uh, there's no village here okay he is part of the uh, the, the Maita clan. Um, I guess we should scout around, look for more evidence of uh, where his tribe went, because that's probably who's responsible for ours going missing too. So, <coughs> at least on that's it, what Ingve deduces. On land or on water. Uh, you have found several bodies along the shoreline. That's uh, true. I believe Scott, Rakir has. <laughs> Rakir has picked off uh, one or two. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. How do we want to go about this? Well, since we are already upon the land, let's start. Let us start on land. If nothing okay. is found, we will move to the water. <laughs> so you want to remain close to the boat. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. And just kind of spread out along the shoreline? Yes. Yes, please. Well, Not too far apart. <laughs> yeah. uh, you find two bloodstains. Uh, one is the small piglet uh, slain earlier. The other is where the giant boar uh, nearly claimed the life of Peck Peck. Peck Peck is also looking around with you. He suggests you spread out to be more effective in your search. Uh, I agree. I Indeed. Agree. Spreading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. We'll split the party. <laughs> Not split, but kind of stay within, you know, he begins to line of out. sight with each other. Yeah. Uh, everybody give me a perception check. 17. Uh, 13. 20. Uh, Azari and Dave, you notice that Peck Peck damn near silent as he uh, moves through the uh, foliage. You, uh, you can keep an eye on him. You can't hear him at all. He's very direct in his stepping. Uh, he does the one-two side glance before proceeding. 
He is quite the hunter. You guys could have used him on the great hunt uh, that first episode. Mm. Uh, he fans out, looks around, does not give any hand motions to Dave, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and continues in looking around and high. No, I'll keep looking around with uh, Peck Peck uh, trying to. Everybody roll a d20. Fourteen. Seventeen. Yeah, thirteen. Azari, uh, you come across uh, something in between the trees. It looks... Uh, eh, uh, give me an arcana check. Eight. Eight? Mm-hmm. Looks like a big bird. It is not yellow. <laughs> mm. nice we're not on the street anymore we're not on the street <laughs> if you guys are on sesame street you'd already be dead uh, probably <laughs> yeah. you're trying to look through the foliage the, the deeper you go in the more densely packed the trees are so you can spot something with feathers you can spot something with a beak but you really can't tell what kind of uh, bird it appears to be okay but it uh, is about eight feet tall. I will stealth, so that way the bird is, uh, I don't uh, spook it. <coughs> stealth roll. What's my bad? 13 plus five, 18. Okay, everybody else give me an investigation check to see if you noticed a Zari uh, moving a little differently. Ooh. 19 minus 2, 17. Uh, 11, I didn't notice. 13. Uh, only Dave notices uh, that Azari's gait has changed. Uh, Dave, do you want to start to I'm going to follow Azari. Give me a stealth check. Ah! <laughs> uh, 21. <laughs> bird. Oh. Uh, you Feather start- bed. <laughs> you start to creep into his footprints. Azari, give me a perception check. 19. Uh, you hear the seductive call of a foreign bird not coming from what you're looking at in the words of caw, caw, caw. <laughs> and then notice Peck Peck is over on the other side cacawing rather loudly. Okay. Uh, you see the bird kind of look up and pay no notice to does, Peck Peck. Does Peck Peck see me? Oh yeah. Okay, I look at Peck Peck and I'll point to the bird and do this or point and just, and like X, like to back away. Okay, um, I'll, I'll kind of just kind of crouch down and I'll, since I know, uh, I'm get. Can I hear Dave behind me? Or okay, you'll catch him out of the peripheral I'll, vision. I'll reach. I'll like lean back. I'll put my hand back and like pretty much make a stop motion. Dave will freeze and squat. <laughs> you, you aren't going to shoot at this fucking thing again. <laughs> Kill Peck Peck in the process. Yeah. Uh, oh. Peck Peck actually walks up to the creature, like the horse whisperer. Okay. And starts to gently stroke it. Uh, oh. Give me an insight oh. check, Dave and oh, Azari. Those birds. <laughs> Just Stroking the bird. Inside. That's a 22. Plus five. 23. Uh, uh, you both figure that the bird must be deaf as shit because it doesn't react when Peck Peck, who is not silently calling i mean mm. he's he is at normal level uh you also notice that the bird does not flee as he touches it uh mm. he he strokes it a couple times reaches up the bird kind of dodges its head a little bit uh but doesn't run away and he slowly strokes its long neck it looks like an ostrich 
Okay. Uh, for visual cue. Uh, he then does this to you two. Okay. Over on the other side, odd Ingve or odd uh, Rakir, even Ingve. Odd uh, Rakir, give me a perception check. Uh, that was better. That's um, that's a nineteen. As you move into the copse of trees, you notice some movement off to your side. As you spin around, you see a large avian creature charging for you, its yellow beak snapping. Ingve, give me a perception check. <coughs> uh, 19. Uh, you see that as well. So, uh, Rakir and Ingve, give me initiative. Three. Eight. Uh, <clears throat> Ingve is uh, 21. Ingve, what do you want to do? Uh, Ingve is going to use speech of the woods and call out to the the creature using kind of like guttural clicks and things like that. It's one of the druid abilities to see if he can calm the creature to get it to stop charging. <laughs> Give me a nature roll. Okay. Just make sure you don't do the Louisiana clicking. <laughs> nice. uh, nature. Okay. This creature is not your sister. <laughs> <laughs> 17. Uh, Rakir, the creature stops yapping just as it gets up on you, kind of pops its head up, looks over, and sees Ingve. <laughs> doing weird nice. shit uh and uh rock here ace ventura and you are <laughs> squaring off with this large bird who now appears to be puzzled uh it is your turn in the initiative role what would you like to do um is it can i tell if it's aggressive is it confused oh, and I, angry or, or is it aggressive what what what, what is it insight that's a three so odd it will be aggressive even it will not be in your opinion this creature is going to kill you <laughs> this is yeah. your chance to see how it dies, Rakir. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to do a flurry. I'm going to take my attack action and a flurry of blows. Sure. So I'll get a total of three unarmed strikes. Bruce Lee, that motherfucker. If I'm not mistaken. I think that's how flurry of blows is. I believe oh. so. Uh, is... Two unarmed strikes as a bonus action and my normal attack action. That's three bonus. So that's three unarmed strikes. Sure. So it's 11 plus five. That's a 16. One hit. 13 plus five is an 18. Two hit. 16 plus five is a 21. Three hit. So um... that'll be. I don't have a D4. That's okay. I'll just take D8 and have it. Yeah, I'll take a D8 and have it. So Don't worry, when you walk around the, the floor, you'll find it. Yeah, that's uh, three. Yeah, the right. That's uh, that's a three plus three is six. Six points. Uh, that's four points. And that's four plus six, seven. So six 21. plus seven is, uh, no, it's be 13 total. 13. Uh, congratulations, you have successfully angered it. Uh, <laughs> Ingve, for all of your clucking, bickering, and whistling, uh, Rakir is now going to be odd pecked or even stomped. Oh, ready for peck. Stomped it is. Oh. <laughs> uh, but a nine is not going to get you. Uh, round two begins Wait. with Ingve as you see it try and stomp him and notice the morning light shines off the dark talons that look very uh, slashy. Scary. 
So Ingve sees this, kind of freaks, rolls his eyes. It's just like, oh, and then said, all right. Only again. he had used his words. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. But no, but subtlety is, yeah, it's definitely, yeah, overrated. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to attack. I'm going to help Rick here. I'm going to you hit him with a shillelagh. So. Uh, I take it a 12 does not hit this creature. Almost. 13 is your magic number. Swing and a miss. Rock here. Uh, Colonel Sanders, this bitch. Better. You're up, Scott, or Rock yeah. here. Yeah, um, I'm not going to do the flir flurry of blows. I'm just going to do two, just two unarmed strikes instead of a flurry of blows. Sure. Five plus five. That's a 10. That, I don't think that'll hit. No. Mm -hmm. uh, seven plus five is a 12. Will the 12 hit? 13 is a magic number. Uh, well, uh, now that Ingve has stepped into the fray, odd rock here, even Ingve. <clears throat> odd rock here, uh, odd beak, even foot. <laughs> Slashing at you again. Uh, it starts to higa, 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 higa. Uh, 15 plus 3, 18. Yeah, 18 will get me. Uh, the talons slash across you for four hit points of damage. Uh, Azari, Dave, and Peck Peck, uh, you hear a strange noise, as does the bird, uh, apparently different audio range uh, and it takes off running in between the trees. Ica, 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 ica. <laughs> Peck Peck looks at you two, specifically Dave. What did you do? And, <laughs> and takes off running after this creature who, I mean, moves like Sweetness from the Chicago <laughs> Bears. He is just dodging. If you don't know who Sweetness is, boys and girls, look up Walter Payton. <laughs> uh, great guy. Uh, and uh, this thing is moving fast. Uh, back to Rock here. Uh, you're up in round three. Mm. Okay. So again. Um, oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Ingve. Ingve <clears throat> has yeah, it. Sure. My okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and swing away again. Uh, this time with a 23 to hit. Mm hmm. Uh, for a big whopping 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Down it goes. Take uh, that bird. <laughs> Rock here, you notice uh, the Shalele connects uh, right in his noggin. Uh, and he keels over, but he's doing that death rattle thingy. Very oh, interesting. Oh. Death rattle. How There's nice. your chance. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, like, shall we have like, Ingve roll for how long he's gonna do this death round? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna like, 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 you know, get up real close to it and just like watch it and like, like look in its eyes and say, I, 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 I have to make sure. I want to see the light go out. I was about to oh. say that. <laughs> I, I was expecting oh, that. D D12 against. Oh yeah. <laughs> Six. Three. Uh, as you look down, just totally intent on this thing, uh, its mate arrives. I oh, I, oh knew it. I knew it. I knew it. On um, again and comes at you from behind with a oh. beak attack. Uh, 10 plus 5, 15. 15. I have an armor class of 15. So, yes, that will be. You feel a sharp pain in your back and six hit points of damage Ooh. and squeal in pain. Ouch. Azari, Dave, uh, give me your initiative rolls and Peck Peck will also roll. Oh, Peck Peck's on it. Seven. Wow. Uh, Ingve, uh, you notice the in 
uh, introspective look on Rakir's face as he leans in to see the light pass away, but then see his arms jerk up and howls in great pain. A dark feathered creature has come up from behind you both and attacked him. What would you uh, like to do? Okay, I'm going to rush and grab Rakir, kind of do like a sheltering thing uh, around him, and the creature is going to have to do a constitution saving throw. 14. Ooh, three. <laughs> three right. is smaller than 14. Even Dave know that. A thunderous wave is going to emanate from Ingve and Rakir. <laughs> from Rakir or to Rakir? From me, I'm holding Rakir. So it's going to I, I, emanate I thought from... you were holding the creature. No, I was holding Rakir. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cast Thunder Wave. Nice. Uh, let's see. At the creature that was attacking from behind you as Azari, Dave, and Peck Peck come up from the rear. Good call. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> hey. Uh, What's the range of Thunder Wave again? Uh, 30, like th 30 feet, yeah. So, yeah, 18 Oops. points of Thunder Damage. Do we get a save on that one? Uh, I I think the save is the con save. Okay. Fourteen. Uh, uh, Azari and Dave con saves. Pet pack fails. And oh is shit! <laughs> blasted back into a tree again. <laughs> Dave gets twenty three. Dave uh. Alfer. <laughs> How much is I? Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Okay. You take 18 as well. Oh, no. <laughs> Does Dave take half? Uh, yes, Dave takes half. Uh, Azari, and I'm not knocked prone, right? Nope. Azari and Peck Peck are knocked into a tree, uh, <laughs> suffer 18 hit points of damage. Dave, uh, <laughs> you, got a th you got a four, right? Yeah. Uh, well, it's not your turn. So, Scott, or uh, Rakir, you're up first, and then Dave. All right. So, um, am, am I still being covered and can't really do anything, or or can I move out? Well, I got. You can move. move. You can yeah. move. Okay. You have so. been grabbed by an unknown assailant from behind you in a strange touch. <laughs> I'll call it bad touch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he would know her. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure, sure he knows what he smells like dark. at this point. True. No, um, I'm going to uh, turn around as fast as I can and, and uh, um, see, see what, you know, struck me from behind. And uh, if, if it was, I've been hit by a beak once before already. So I think I kind of recognize what, what it is. And, and is this thing in, is this thing within range of me? Uh, that, that grabbed you or no. the bird, the, the, the bird. Oh, okay. I was, I was going to say you get hit in the back of the leg by a smaller beak, but uh, we won't go into that description at this time. Uh, you, you see, I, I would say assholes and elbows, but more like beak and knees and a big pile of feathers. Uh, and you see Dave, ah, and you see Azari and Peck Peck, ah. Georgia the jungle style in the trees. <laughs> Uh, okay. So you do see Dave coming full bore. Okay. Okay. Um, it, it does the does the thing that 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 that, that beaked me? Um, does it look damaged at all, or is it still pretty? Oh, yeah, there's feathers still falling. <laughs> okay, there's feathers still falling. Well, I'll I'll try to finish him off with two unarmed strikes. Sure. And you know, if I do, I get five extra i get five tem temporary hit points as for the touch of death which is my new yes yes no that's five that that's not going to hit that is in that 20 and that will oh yeah you'll probably put it down now damage damage modifier that is, well <laughs> that's only uh four uh plus uh four so that's only eight hit points of damage that's good enough. It only had three left. So oh, yes. Oh, down yeah. it goes. Dave, bad news as you come roaring up, holding your weapon aloft. Uh, you see Rakir put it down. Uh, and Rakir, this time, uh, due to your pummeling, you will see 
the light dim in its very <laughs> large eye. Oh, and it, it and it sure. <laughs> I'm gonna shake it to make sure it's dead. You grab it by the neck and you shake it, and that head just wobbles all over the place. Uh, wow, Dave, do you want to hit that's something amazing. anyway? Or no, I didn't bother to rage, so I'll just like I want to do one of those like cartoons kid do a stop. <laughs> like, good kill, brother. <laughs> uh, Dave Ingve and Rock here give me perception checks. Uh oh. Uh, 13. Dave's really busy looking at that critter that, that Rock here just killed. You had your back to it anyway. So, uh, Rock here, what about you? What am I doing? Perception check. Okay. Sorry, perception check. Uh, that'll be a 16. Uh, you and Ingve hear what can best be described as cursing. Go, oh, Martha. Ah, ah. <laughs> I know Dave is responsible for this. Uh, you look over <laughs> and you see Azari kind of rubbing the foliage off of him uh, and a, an angry, angry peck peck. Uh, just fists clenched, gets up, branches in his hair, just shit everywhere. <laughs> he is storming over. He's pissed. You don't even need an insight roll. You know he's mad. When he gets closer, he is going to feel better. So any damage that they take, they're going to get uh, 11 points of healing back. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, casting, well? I'm casting healing word. So... <laughs> Well, uh, surprise, surprise, that does not make him feel any better, at least emotionally. Right, uh, physically, I mean. <laughs> uh, as he surveys the situation, he is going to focus his anger on Rakir for punching out the animal. What do you think you're doing? It attacked me. Am I, am I just supposed to do nothing? It attacked me. What did you do to it? Nothing. Not a single thing. It ran up to me Man. and attacked me. So these peaceful beasts of burden, for no apparent reason, <laughs> attacked you. It had a really mean look. Like it wanted to hurt me. <laughs> I've uh, seen that look many, many times. Peck Peck looks at Azari and Dave. And it looked just like you look right now. Like, like you want to hurt me? That's what that bird looked like. He, he looks at you two and he just throws his hands up in his air. Can, can you, can you, he's one of you. Can you explain this to him? That's aimed at Azari and Dave. <laughs> <laughs> As no one can explain anything to Rock here. Everybody give me a quick perception check, by the way. <laughs> That's a dirty 20. Uh, perception? See. Ooh. 24. Uh, 19 for Ingve. Where the hell is my perception? Uh, 18 for Dave. All four of you notice that there is a branch askew in Peck Peck's hair that has kind of stuck itself in between his ear and its hair. Peck Peck has pointed ears. Oh. It was hidden by his long locks. Uh, he is now storming off, screaming to the skies, apparently mad at the deities. Uh, he's going to let Azari and Dave explain how these Peaceful creatures only want to survive and thrive in the wilderness. <laughs> what he said. What he said. <laughs> After a few minutes, you can see the back of Peck Peck. <sighs> Comes back. We could have used those two creatures to carry our boat and also use transportation. 
That is why I am upset. These creatures could have aided us in a more expeditious search of the area. If it attacked you, you did what you had to do. I accept that. But could you please try not to kill everything? <laughs> well, um, just don't give Dave go sign. <laughs> <laughs> we can try, little guy. We can try. Okay. I want you to like me, and that's why I agree with you, because you seem like a swell guy. Little guy, but a swell little guy. <laughs> Dave, have a question? <laughs> yeah, good. Can, can I kill Grung? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you can kill Grung or anybody else who took our people. Or if we need to eat. <laughs> Just stop getting me thrown into trees. <laughs> I have Agreed. bad problems. Seems reasonable. <laughs> uh, he asks, do you want to keep looking around the woods or what 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 would you guys like to do now? Let's try to find more beasts of burden. <laughs> uh Rock here, I caught that and I expected it. Uh okay, so uh deeper Let's into the woods or kill these fuckers. Farther down, or what do you want to do? Well, we're looking for clues, right? I mean, we're looking for clues. <laughs> um I normally wouldn't say split the party, but um wait, what, uh, you wouldn't? <laughs> but I, I'm I'm kind of think that you know that we need to kind of maybe search along the riverbank because that's where we. If I'm if I'm not mistaken here, I'm maybe a little bit out of character when I say this. If I'm not mistaken, we thought that at some point the people that stole the village people got got on <laughs> that they that they got in the river, right? In which yes. case. That they're going to have to eventually either go on the river or they're going to have to, you know, pull off shore somewhere, in which case we may see asylum. So I, I think we ought to search along the riverbank, you know, <laughs> along the al along the current. And that's kind of where we should be focusing our efforts to search. Peck Peck will have told you last night while he was kindly supping on some of Dave's boar and not trying to kill him in his sleep, uh, that his people were attacked via land and the people, the uh, interlopers, then created rafts to float them down. So he believes uh, these creatures, whatever they may be, uh, approached the village on land but left via water. Left and what terror... I see. So he will concur area. with you, Rock here. Okay. Okay. See, I I I knew I was gonna like this little guy. So <laughs> he, he still he still rolled a four. He's he, he really loves the it. little guy. <laughs> oh nice. uh do you wanna go back? towards the river where your raft is and walk the river or do you want to take the raft and put it back into the waters you have moved past the swirly world pools so that's a plus um yeah let's do that yeah let's put yeah, the water in yeah okay keep, uh, keep a real good eye out for where possible places would have been where they could have gone where they in. Could have beached. Yeah, yeah, where they exactly, exactly where they could have beached. That's that's what I'll be really looking forward to. Find. Yep. Sure. Uh after about an hour on the river, everybody give me an investigation check. Ooh. 18. Ooh. 16. Net 20. Four. For a uh let's see, investigation uh 22. 10. Uh, Rakir and Azari, you are looking in one direction. You do not see anything. Uh, Dave sees something in the reeds, and Ingve says it appears to be clothing. And it is going to be on the left side of the river. Uh, you guys have passed by it, so you'll need to beach immediately. 
and backtrack a little bit. If you yeah, want to yeah, look yeah. at it. But Ingve got a pretty good, pretty good view of it. Pretty <laughs> sure it was just clothing, no uh, human bodies. Okay. But maybe a trail. That's what they were doing last time. They were leaving a trail for us using clothing. Somebody might have tossed something in the reeds to give us. Yeah. Yeah. Give us another clue. Let's check it out. Yeah. 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 Let's check it out. Yep. Uh, you guys have been on the river enough. You will not have to roll unless it is a one. Who wants to steer the boat? Don't Rock everybody here. volunteer at once. Rock here. Right, go yeah. ahead, Rock, Rock here. has experience. Anything but a one. Nat 20. Oh, easy. Nice. I, he, he's like Gilligan almost. Uh, you beach the raft. You assume it's about 50 yards back, uh, according to Ingve, who did get a pretty good look at it. Uh, as you go through here, everybody give me a nature check. Uh, oh, yeah, seven for based. cool. Seven. Yeah. yeah. Seven. Uh, not a, it's not a I'm... skill of mine. I'm proficient, so I have plus zero. Uh, that's a 17. Uh, Azari and Dave, you notice droppings. What kind of droppings? They're kind of big droppings. Kind of like elk size droppings. Ooh. Fresh? Uh, D12 against me. Uh, four? Uh, eh. A day, day old, Ish. maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, not not recent passing. Maybe came to get some water from the river, and it looks like droppings but from one creature. Uh, watch all, out for predators. Their game trail here. All five of you uh, reach the clothing, and indeed, uh, it is some kind of article of clothing. You do not recognize it, however, Peck Peck does. Uh, this is a tunic from my tribe. I recognize it. I do not know who was wearing it at the time, but clearly I see no body, so I can assume that no body is dead. So it is my opinion that we are on the right track. Well, let's follow the trail then. <clears throat> do we want to follow the trail or stay in the river? If 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 there's a trail to follow, can we can we? There is we, no trail, and the clock is on the, boat, the wrong side of the river. Mm. Back, to the, back, back yeah. to the boat. Back to the boat. Yeah, back to the boat. Scott, do you want to stay in the middle, or do you want to choose a side to stay close? I want to stay there? in the middle. Allow us to react either side. Uh, <clears throat> as you do, you notice that the river starts to get. Uh, a little bit wider. There are several smaller tributaries feeding into it. Uh, you guys go on for another two hours. Uh, your eagle eyes do not spot anything except for uh, roll investigation. Damn it, I hate that. Three. Uh, 18. 19. Not 20. I'm far too busy with my new toy that I just again. procured a little while ago. And I seem to be distracted and not be really paying much attention. Well, it is rather large. Peck Peck does not notice it either. Uh, Ingve, Azari, and Dave, you notice that either side of the river is populated by gators uh, sunning themselves, as is their custom as it uh, encroaches midday. Uh, you three also noticed that the tributaries feeding the main river uh, have been doing a very good job as the speed of the raft begins to accelerate. Everybody roll a very important perception check. 20. Uh, 19. Not 20. Uh, six. I'm still just waiting. Rakir is still... Else. <laughs> Doing this, uh, Ingve, Azari, Dave, not Peck Peck. Uh, you three look at each other. Is there a crowd nearby? 
as you hear a roaring that intensifies. Oh shit! It's like a you also notice the, the, the river is really moving fast. It's really you, getting fast. Huh? You turn around to address Scott and Peck Peck. Peck Peck is doing this, and Scott is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and it is abundantly clear that your navigator is asleep at the switch uh, as the <laughs> is growing louder. <laughs> the horizon seems to almost drop off in front of you yeah, yeah, yeah. about another <laughs> another 50 yards. Okay, I, I like slapped Fuck. out of it. I was just like Head for head for sure, quick, quick. Oh, <laughs> I just reach sure. back and I'm grabbing the grabbing the oar and turning it so we can get head to it, so it pushes us to the shore. Like I'm hanging uh, onto the boat. Uh Rock here. Ingve tells you to steer the boat. Um, and so I I steer the boat. Fair, and... Stop. Uh, Rock here. <laughs> Odd or even? Azari, odd or even. Oh, Pray no. that you guys are equal. <laughs> yeah. Two. 20. Both are even. You guys are headed to the right side uh, as you both pull, <laughs> pull on the, <laughs> the oar contraction. Ah, I can I see if so, they were on the so we'd be <laughs> So the good news is you are going to go over the falls at an angle. So that's the good news. Everybody give me a constitution save as the raft. Whoa. Okay. Marshall, Bill, and Holly. Exactly. Pet Pet got a three. (laughs) Oh, man. Nat 20 for Yngwie. Um, That's a 19 plus three, 22 for Dave. So 24 for... That's a 10 for me. 18 plus four, 22. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. That's that's a 16. So that's a 19 for Dave. Uh, Azari, Dave, and Ingve, you are going to take half damage. Uh, Rakir and Peck Peck, who's really having a bad fucking day, uh, (laughs) is going to take er, full damage. Oh. Oh, that's not a good roll. <laughs> oh, uh, 15 rounded down is seven. Ingve, Azari, Dave, seven. Peck, Peck, unconscious on the rocks below with a 15. Scott, 15 damage to you. Oh, man. Okay. Actually, Peck, Peck's at zero because Ingve healed him. Uh your raft is less than seaworthy at this point in time as all five of you go underwater, breakwater, underwater, breakwater. Uh, Azari, Ingve, Dave, you grab the raft, you struggle, you manage to hold your head up over water. Uh, Rock here and Peck Peck, not so much as Peck Peck hits rocks. Oh. And Rakir, mm. you're still conscious, right? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Rakir's not doing so hot, uh, but he is. Uh, <laughs> Can I uh, see Peck Peck? Or... Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he's splayed out. <laughs> Can, I, Can I reach for Peck Peck and try and pull him in? Mm-mm. Oh. Oh, man. You, you will have to put ashore, and then you notice briefly. There appears to be a line of stones at the bottom. Uh, maybe you can get in behind the waterfall, find the magic unicorn and shit like that, and reach out to Peck Peck. Uh, these, it's not Niagara, but these are kind of big falls. Uh, oh, shit. You only fell like 30 feet, which is mm. a plus. Uh, but still, there's there's a lot of water here. Uh, so, uh, Rock here, give me another constitution save. <laughs> Rock here, you don't have proficiency in swimming, correct? Uh, I didn't know that was a thing. What I don't think mean, I survival? do. No, no, I mean, survival or no, none of that. 
Uh, you'll take three more hit points as you're bobbing, gasping, uh, swallowing a lot of water. Azari, Ingve, Dave, you can reach for Rock here or throw him a rope, either one. Uh, the raft is in shambles, uh, but you can hang on to it in one hand and reach out in the other to pull uh, Rock. I'll reach here. out for him. Hit him. 19. Uh, Great Rock, Rock here, uh, you feel someone grab your clothing and yank you towards him. Uh, He's probably are, used to it. He knows who it is instantly. Yeah, you're, you're, <laughs> you're too tired to give two shits about it uh, as you're swallowing a lot of water. And uh, Azari and Ingve, you notice your raft because of the quick action by Rock here and Azari. Uh, is headed towards an area of shoals uh, with high reeds and a little bit of slope of mud that hopefully Kick toward you that beat yourself on. Uh, so Azari and Ingve, give me survival rolls to see if you can kind of navigate the fractured vessel that way. Um, 13. 16. Uh, you guys are close enough. Uh, you kind of pile it in. So if you can say that your raft was a collection of logs, uh, you know what, Ingve? What are your roll per percentage for us? Oh, <laughs> oh shit. No. That no, again. Please, huh? No. No. <laughs> oh, man. Let's make you the villain. Oh, 70. <clears throat> 70% of your raft is gone. <laughs> <laughs> I am never rolling percentage rolls again. <laughs> uh, but the other 30% has managed to move you to the side. Uh, odd even everyone. Uh, let's see. Uh, odd uh, even. Uh, even? Two and two. Uh Rakir and Ingve, you notice something unusual just ahead of you in the river. Uh, Azari and Dave, uh, you notice the fractured body of Peck Peck, oh. who landed upon the rocks uh, and does not appear to be stirring. Uh, you do notice that if you climb into the mud, climb up onto the shoreline, sprint uh, down the high grasses, and maybe run across the rocks, you can get to him before he passes on. Yes. If Dave can get there, he'll do it. Yeah, so, so sorry. I have healing spells too, so. I want to watch. I want to watch. I was going to say you can call him. First one's dexterity to get up onto the shoreline, and that's a, a check, not a save. Well, 17. Uh, 13. Covered in mud, you both managed to scamper up. You are indeed in the tough mutter competition. Uh, who is the fastest? Uh, I think it's Ari. Uh, mine's 35. Yeah, you're faster than okay. I am. All right, Azari, you quickly catch up. You guys are neck and neck. Uh, you run through the uh, high grasses. Do you want to look around, sightsee, or do you just want to fucking beeline towards your friend? Beeline. Yeah, my danger sense is intact, so... You, you both sprint forward, and you see, indeed, a collection of wet rocks uh, scattered about the area. The only spot that there are no rocks is dead center of this waterfall. Uh, so, give me acrobatics check to hop, hop, hop over to Peck Peck. Thirteen again. Fifteen. Dave reaches him first and notices that he has very shallow breathing. Uh, one of his eyes is askew uh, with uh, blood damage, and he does not look very good at all. Uh, he is going to need a medicine check from somebody to try and stabilize him a little bit more so that you guys can move him. Okay. Who wants to make the roll? I I just already rolled it because I got there first. Uh, that's an 18 plus one, 19. 
Uh, Dave tells Azari, don't move head till I stabilize. Could cause uh, cervical neck damage. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Need you to find Ringer's lactate and call in. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the mud hut, uh, Ingve and Scott, uh, you see your two associates sprint off, uh, but you are puzzled as to what you see dead center in the river. Uh, tributaries pour in from every area, and this it starts to get really bad here, but you notice an island in the center of the river, and you notice the remains of two rafts on a sandy shoreline, uh, like a promontory, just stick it uh -huh. out. Uh, the river splits in two and goes around. It's not Longa Island, uh, but it's uh, probably 600 yards. Mm. Wow, that's quite the... And it's slightly elevated. Yeah, okay. Uh, do I see anything else on, on that shore on the, on the island besides the rafts? Do I see bodies or anything like that? Investigation check at disadvantage. Damn it. I rolled a natural 22. <laughs> so, oh my God. Okay. Wah, wah. Uh, investigation 10. Uh, you see a shambling figure in the afternoon light, but it disappears quickly. Uh, meanwhile, um, Laurie uh, and Dave, you have stabilized Peck Peck. His eye, still severely bloodshot from the head trauma, no doubt, looks around and he goes, Oh, good. I'm still alive. <laughs> What happened? Don't move. <laughs> yep. I can barely move. Where am I? What happened? Am I the vice Sorry, president? Tell him to shut up. <laughs> Is there a woman president yet? <laughs> <laughs> I um. Calm down, Peck Peck Sanders. <laughs> 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 nice. Uh, no um, real world politics. I, uh, uh, I tell Rick here that I think I saw something on that island in the shoals. Um, and then, um, yeah, quickly look in the direction towards Azari and Dave. Um, so we're all on the same side of the mm -hmm. reeds, and they kind of move back up to, to, to get Peck Peck. How mm -hmm. far away is this little island in the middle of the river. It, it's, what is it, a 100-yard swim, 50-yard swim? A 50-yard swim. You still have 30% of the raft, courtesy of Ingve. <laughs> I'm like Spicoli. It's more of an outrigger. <laughs> I'm like Spicoli at this point, okay, in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. It's just like, if, if we wait a day, my dad's got an awesome set of tools. Look. Dude, I can fix it. <laughs> you can deck yourself out like the rock and become uh, uh, what was that, Maui or yeah, yeah, Maui. Yeah. Dave have access. As fact, a matter Dave of fact, I'm a shapeshifter, so yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to suggest do the you, chicken. I'm going to suggest to Ingve. That uh, that uh, since he's so always good at healing and, and intent on healing people, maybe he he, he could take the uh, what's remains of the raft left and use it as a lighter to uh, to uh, to bring Peck Peck over, and uh, and then that way you won't have to you know you can heal him and everything else like that. You won't have to move him in case his back's hurt. Yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna swim over to the island. By yourself. On your own? By myself. <laughs> That's right. Don't worry, well, guys. You I can know. do it. Well, you know, I, I you can didn't, do it. You didn't nearly drown anyway, so uh, you know, go ahead and give me a survival roll to start. Uh, okay. I'm gonna cast How cure much damage did you take? <laughs> I, I, I took. Nice, Azari. Yeah, I don't like have nice. much. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's you said survival, right? Not acrobatics. Okay. Yeah, survival. Way survival. too many. Did you, did you say ten? 
No, I was yeah, like, that's, I can't. Uh, I rolled a D10, not a D. That's a 14. Yeah, uh, yeah you, you get the breaststroke going. Oh, he gets okay. five points of healing. Uh, his his Don't worry, eye guys, is I got still blood, bloodshot. <laughs> I think I have a detached retina. <laughs> uh, Azari, Dave, perception check at disadvantage, please. Disadvantage? Uh oh. Dave, have to well, you're busy. Dice. Yeah. Um, at disadvantage, 14. Oh, nice. At disadvantage, I rolled a 19 and a 20. Nice. Um, so that's a 26. Uh, you put the uh, healing hands down. I rolled a 19 and a 9. And uh, you see the uh, sacred light filling Peck Peck's body, uh, bringing him back from the death's door. And as you, you look out and you see a jackass swimming towards an island, and that jackass looks vaguely familiar. Yeah, they see me. Don't worry. Bay is doing this. I got it. I got it. I'm going there. I got it. Don't worry about me. I'm going to make you proud. Dave, you lean in. Peck Peck looks at you, bloody eye and all. Oh, good. You made it. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you too, Hunter. He he kind of sits up. He's pretty woozy. <sighs> oh man. What are we doing? Why am I the only one that looks this bad? <laughs> Did you push me out of the boat? <laughs> okay. It seems as the and, and, and Ingvay is Hey guys! I'm over here. <laughs> Can you walk, Peck Peck? Uh, I'm gonna need help. Are we? Why are we cheery? Someone answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I can carry him. Well, that's gonna put you at disadvantage on your acrobatics check. <laughs> you smell waffles? I smell waffles. I smell waffles. <laughs> So Azari and Dave, uh, acrobatics, Dave at disadvantage. At disadvantage, 15. 21. Uh, uh, both of you, a uh, hop, skip, and a jump. Uh, <laughs> Odd Azari, even Dave. Uh, Dave, you step in some droppings uh, as you get back up on the shore. Uh, big, big pile, big pile of droppings. Uh, um, not, not like humongous, but like herbivore of, or <laughs> herbivore or carnivore. Do we're talking it? Jurassic poop. <laughs> not, not Jurassic poop, but about uh, man's shoe size poop. Yeah, but herbivore or carnivore. Do you want to check while you have pet yeah. slung over your shoulder? Fuck yeah, Hunter of Ba. I better fucking Ooh. know by looking at it. Well, go ahead and give me an investigation check. Taste it, uh, 13. <laughs> Do I get advantage uh, if I taste it? <laughs> yes, I'll give you advantage if you taste it. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's gonna have Natural fucking 20. <laughs> he comes up with a shit-eating grin. This, ta this, ta this tastes like salad. Uh, you, you hear a moan because you haven't put Peck Peck down, and he says... Don't do that. I can see right down the back of your britches. <laughs> Please right. put me down. Is that kale? <laughs> okay, I'll put him down. Uh, he limps towards Ingve, who still looks like he's in a separate world. <laughs> oh, man. Doing the wave. Yeah. Uh, and he's, he's feeling the pain. He's like uh, pr uh, Principal Rooney at the end of Ferris Bueller's Day <laughs> He's just not having it. Uh, Rakir, give me one more uh, roll at advantage, please. Your swim roll at advantage. He's muted again. Yeah, but he's not saying anything. What am I doing? Uh, one last roll to make sure that you are on track. I was like mentally <coughs> going through swim? that whole end of 
of Ferris Bueller. Of Ferris Bueller yeah. where, he, where he straightens his tie up to get on the bus. Bet you never smelled a real school bus, bus before. <laughs> Want That's a gummy a, bear? Um, <laughs> it's been in my pocket. <laughs> uh, you have made it successfully there. You look like Bond, James Bond, coming up <laughs> out of the water oh, in between two fractured rafts. Uh, and one body pinned underneath it. Look for clues. Oh, I'm going to look, look right at the body and go, uh, go over there and see if I recognize the body. It's a female with a lot of hair, but it doesn't, look like, doesn't look like she's from Ba. <laughs> female. I wouldn't hair. kill two of them. <laughs> I don't think. Yeah. Female, but not from... Uh, uh, and, and if you pull back the hair, you notice she too has pointed ears, so she's Vulcan. Uh, okay. I'm going uh, uh, to go, ahead and, go ahead and take one of the ears mind. too. Then. Wow. <laughs> I, please wear it around your neck so that Peck Peck can really like you. Uh, as you did, no, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it in with the rest of my collection. He cut a he cut an ear off. Is that what he did? That's what he did. Oh my so, god! So uh, from oh here, gosh. give me a perception check, Rock here. Was this okay. perception check? Here? Can you hear? Oh no, me? that was a nap. <laughs> yeah, so that's not good. So you're you're intent on uh, yeah? Getting I'm the... trying to really do. I'm trying to get all of the ear. You know, sure. trying to get all the little parts. Uh, you know, um, I, I'm playing Reservoir Dogs in my head now. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Zari, Dave, and Ingve, uh, you three and Peck Peck are now at the mud hut uh, that you guys all landed on. Peck Peck looks at the 30% of the remaining raft, looks at each one of you. Did you, did you bastards push me out? <laughs> Because comparatively speaking, you guys are pretty healthy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not as much as you think. I'm think. down to. I'm past half. I'm at like sixteen hit points. What it? What really, is really sixteen? Help sixteen whole hit points. Really? <laughs> yeah. What it? What is? He's only got ten less than me. <laughs> what? Yeah. What is Peck Peck at at the moment? Five. <laughs> okay. How, uh, Azar gave him five back, and he was out of it. Okay, if they reached us, Ingve's gonna do a triage assessment. <laughs> See, my arm should not swing this <laughs> way. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, gentlemen, I'm going to put my rib back into place. <laughs> Peck Peck uh, lifts, lifts his scalp. Yeah, much kindly. <laughs> oh man, Ingve's gonna Sorry. cast another healing word. Oh, to these guys. Lovely. And uh, they're going to take uh, eight points of healing. Oh, and then uh, he's going to take his staff and he's going to summon <laughs> uh, the spirit of the raven. Give me a strength roll, please. Strength check. For Ingve? Yep. Oh, all right. Uh, let's see. Strength check. Do you feel good? Yeah. Uh, 19, actually. Outstanding job. Uh, the silt from the mud just absorbs the entire staff and it gets lodged in. Uh, as the raven is called. Thanks for the high roll again. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I'm like, oh, <laughs> God damn it. So anyway, I summoned the spirit of the raven. Uh, so for the next minute, they're going to take... Uh, <laughs> Uh, four points of healing each tech, so one round each. So for a minute. Oh, oh, oh. So, so you guys get. Uh, is there another ostrich around? <laughs> uh, <laughs> exactly. You guys get six more hit points. Uh, the bloodshot eye goes away. The scalp heals, and the arm appears to be swinging normally on Peck Peck. Ingve, give me three strength checks. You need 19 or better to free your staff. Okay. He who pulls the staff from the mud is the rightful druid. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the first one's 15. Nope. Stuck. Okay. Second's 21. Okay. He pulled it free. Okay. And one more? Nope. 
You nope, that was it. You, you, okay. Yeah, you did it. If you would have hit three, you would have had to have help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the bottom of your staff looks like you've given a colonoscopy. <laughs> Over on the island, Rakir, give me a animal handling to skin the ear off your colleague's associate, probably a relative, I'm guessing. 19. Oh, yeah. You, uh, you, you, you are very deliberate in your cutting. Uh, you take a great deal of time, and you manage to go ahead and completely sever the ear nicely. Uh, you did a really nice job. Since this creature is already dead, there's, there's very little blood. Uh, so, you know, that's a plus. Uh, what do you want to do now? Um, I, I want to take the body out from completely from under the um the uh, boat and or the raft or whatever it was and i want to search the raft and search the other boat to see if i can find out anything were these made at different times same materials trying to trying to understand a little bit more about that you made an investigation check okay that's uh 12. uh when you pull the body out you notice that the creature doesn't have feet Looks like it got nibbled like, I don't know, piranha or quippers or something. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, you're fine, so yeah. can't yeah, be that. He may it's got to be some kind of uh, defect, uh, something like that. Uh, Ingve, Azar, or, check that. Azari and Dave, give me perception checks. Oh, uh, gosh darn it, it's five. That peck's 18. Yep. 16. 16. Uh, you two and Peck Peck look around. Where the hell's the monk? Uh, he was the idiot swimming across. <laughs> He's on the other side from the island. Great. We're going to an island. Why is he over there? <laughs> Because he, uh, he can. <laughs> he enjoys swimming. I hate this job already. <laughs> are we going to use the raft or are we going to try and swim over there? Um, raft. The 30% of it that's still left. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Hey, Frank. Yes, sir. Um, are these two rafts that I see here, are they, are they seaworthy? Are they shipworthy? Mm, yeah, they're, uh, let me check how bad off they are. Uh, the first one, <laughs> uh, has 16% left. Glad I'm not rolling. <laughs> the other one has 31%. So you got about 47% of a whole raft. <coughs> Take the other piece. We've got three quarters of a raft. There oh. we go. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, then the raft, uh, and as to uh, creation date, things of that nature, you check the property tag on it. And yes, indeed. Uh, these all seem like trees from where you got attacked by the frog creatures. Uh okay. Probably the same thing. Uh, you notice a wee bit of cloth uh, stuck in the rope that lashed all the logs together. Uh, and that kind of looks like stuff from Ba. Uh, it, it doesn't have the uh, made in Ba with pride tag, but uh, it, it looks <laughs> like something a, a, a Ba Aryan would wear. Okay. Uh, cool. Well, I'll, I'll start trying to combine the pieces of the two raft to make one more seaworthy raft, figuring that that's probably the most valuable thing I can do. And at the same time, I'm going to, you know, every now and then <coughs> put my hand in and kind of rub the ear for good luck. <laughs> uh, okay, good thing you don't know there's creatures on this island. Uh, Azari, <laughs> Dave, and... Well, that's Ingrid. what the good luck is for. Yeah. What do you guys want to do? Um, I'm not sure, brothers. What do you want to do? <laughs> the island, and then that's pretty much. Uh, we got just regular um, land to our left of us, or okay. Uh, a lot of tributaries pouring water in. Okay, must be like a low or a delta area. 
Dave's going to pointedly look at Azari's armor, look at the island, look back at Azari's armor, look back at the island. Yeah, you guys are definitely going to have to hang on to the uh, logs uh, to get there. So is well, that what you guys do? Put it out into the water and coast off? Yeah. As Use you guys... Kind of coast there. Yeah, as, as you guys try and follow the current... Can, like, hold on and kick. Mm -hmm. uh, Dave, something brushes up against your feet. Well, does it tickle or? No, it's just kind of force. So I don't know. Just keep freaking swimming. Got to get across the river. Uh, it happens a second time to you, Dave. Hmm. That's mysterious and bad. I would say. Um, there's something in the water. Um, yeah. Steer right three. Uh oh. You feel a bite. <laughs> oh, crap. I'm mad. Not uh, for this one, but I will be. That's 18 plus 5, 23. Something that hits. latches onto you. Big bad. Uh, one murder hobo. Uh, <coughs> 12 damage as you feel Ow. blood leak out of your feet. Uh, Ingve, Azari, and Peck Peck. <sighs> Peck Peck, especially. What now? <laughs> oh, now Dave rages. <laughs> the, the good news is you're very close to shore, and you see Rock here trying to do his best uh, US, or SS Minnow uh, routine, only he is not the professor. He's more like uh, Thurston Howell or his wife. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you guys approach, Ingve Azari, perception, Dave, perception at disadvantage because you're getting eaten. Yeah. I rolled a three uh, three times in a row. Eight. I rolled a three also. Uh, um, Ingve, 22. Ingve, there's uh, whatever you saw earlier is reemerged at the top. From where you see Rakir lashing together these two rafts, you notice a zigzagging, sandy formation. Uh, with strange rocks kind of leading up to a plateau area. And that is where you see this shambling humanoid-esque figure. Uh, Dave, I'll give you one kick in the leg before you reach solid ground. Uh, 14. Uh, you, hit so you hit something. Man. Get to solid ground, I'm going to be really, really, really mad. Keep pushing for the shore. Yep. How close are we to the shore <laughs> by this point? Almost there. So Dave, okay. give me a D6 plus strength bonus. Uh, that's a murder hobo die giving me a 6 plus 4 is 10. Nice. Now D12 against me. I love them. Murder hobo dice. Ah, uh, that's a 9. Fair enough. 5 you say? Uh, yeah, I rolled a five, so you uh, you won that one. Uh, all four of you push uh, the rest of the raft up away from Rock here so you don't knock him in the noggin despite Peck Peck's insistence. Uh, Dave, you look down at your calf and you've got teeny tiny bite marks uh, in it, uh, but it is spewing forth a rather large amount of blood. As you tromp up the wet sand, you notice small silvery fish uh, unable to reach you. Uh, Ingve Azari, Peck Peck, you three all reach the uh, shoreline, so beach big. it, and you notice Rakir is doing a mending action. Give me a survival roll, Rakir. Let's see how you're doing. I, you know, I'll take survival or nature. Um, I'm more or less the same on those, so let's do uh, uh, a 10. Uh, do I notice that Dave's injured? Or? Not yet, because he's at the back. Uh, Rock here, eh, 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 
yeah, it'll pass. It's probably seaworthy. Uh, Ingve, Azari, Dave, and Peck Peck. Perception rolls. Peck Peck notices. 14. Uh, 18. Sucks. Nine. 13. Uh, Ava, 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 and Peck Peck runs over to a corpse uh, sitting in the sand close to where Rakir is working, pulls the body over. Oh, oh, oh no. Is that corpse missing an ear by any chance? It is missing an ear, and oh. its, uh, its feet are uh, rather gnawed on. Uh, he looks, he turns around. Let's see if he notices Dave's bleeding. With a 19, he notices that Dave's bleeding and asks, what happened to you? Something in the water. Were, was Ava's feet in the water? Yes. Yes, and Makes her sense. ears. <laughs> she was folded <laughs> over like Samsonite luggage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just one ear. Oh, my God. <laughs> Perfectly removed. Uh, Peck, Sharp <laughs> clever fish. Peck Peck is sad, uh, not overly so, not Ingve sad, because, but points out that this was his neighbor, Ava. Uh, she was one of the ones that were taken. Uh, everybody roll perception. <laughs> Twenty-three. Eighteen. Uh, 14. Ingve, uh, Ingve, Azari, Dave, and Peck Peck all look behind Rock here to see a shambling humanoid esque figure. Uh, uh, I. We'll start with initiative. Okay. <laughs> oh, Dave got this. Not 20 on initiative, 22. Uh,. Ingve also nat 20, 23. Nat 19, <laughs> so 25. Right on. Rock here. Dirty 20. Oh, so sorry. Very good. I got a two. Uh, so uh, we will Meat. start with the nat 20s. First off, everybody perception check. Twelve. Uh, twenty-two. Three. Three. Or twenty-three. Just a twenty. Oh, okay. Dave. Twelve. Uh, Peck Peck does not know this person. You guys all know this person as Ebbles, uh, one of the miners uh, from Ba. Uh, Ebbles, a male, uh, appears to be disoriented. Uh, kind of ashen gray and just kind of stumbling a uh, thousand yard stare. Uh, nap 20s are Ingve and Dave. What would you like to do about Ebbles? Uh, I quickly look at Dave and it's just like, it's Ebbles? <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know what's wrong with him. Um, I what does he smell like? <laughs> does he smell alive or dead? <laughs> well, you'll you'll have to approach him. Oh, I'll do that. Hey, Ebbles, it's me, Dave. So Dave is now in between everybody and Ebbles. Uh, okay. Uh, next up is uh, I think. Uh, yeah, Zari. Zari. Uh, Evels is shambling to a hundred yard stare. Mm -hmm. He is not being aggressive, he's just moving slowly. He did say he was ashen, though. Ashen, mm -hmm. okay. Um, vampire, I'm going to pull my bow <laughs> and I'm going to I'm gonna pull out my bow and knock an arrow, I'm not gonna pull one back, and I'm gonna step uh backwards and to the side so that way that Dave's like not right in front of me now I can I have a clear line of sight on the other guy sure. and I'm also going to look around to see if anything else is 
kind of shambling in the distance or towards us. In investigation roll. Okay. Yeah, since uh, Dave was so loud and uh, boisterous. Mm -hmm. hey! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 16. Diplomacy. Nope. Uh, there's nobody approaching on the zigzag. Uh, you cannot see what is above on the plateau. Rock here. Okay. Uh, old acquaintance, not really a friend. Ebbles is uh, shambling towards Dave, who's, hey, hey, hey everybody. <laughs> you also see Azari step and knock, uh, ready to go. What do you want to do? I'll get my. Uh get my quarter staff out um, and uh, start, you know, kind of taking somewhat of a little flanking position, <coughs> uh, quick stepping around to where I could, I could close to melee range within one round if I have to. Sure. Uh, Peck Peck uh, screams out, what the hell's wrong with you guys? What, why are we killing this thing? Uh, Ebbles. Kind of focuses in on Dave and puts his hands out. Uh, 14, would a 14 connect to you? Not even, and if he's done that, then Dave will punch him. Uh, does this. Uh, top of the order, uh, Ingve, Dave, what do you want to do? Alerted well, by uh, Peck Peck's reaction. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Ingve, I heard what Techfix said too. Yeah, Ingve leads with his staff and um, <laughs> attacks Dave. Come on, roll a one. Uh, yeah, Rex uh, Dave unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> he falls like a pile of shit real, out of the bird. Yeah. Roll a nat twenty max damage. Come on, Twenty-two, Dave. sixteen plus six. Twenty-two. Oh, yeah, Evels has no armor on. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he hits Ebbles for uh, uh, six uh, bludgeoning damage. E Ebbles has a mark right about here. <laughs> not, not so much here or here, but right here and just, <laughs> <laughs> just drops. And from behind all of you, you hear, it's about goddamn time. <laughs> uh, Peck Peck pushes his way through, looks at the guy, kind of kicks his leg. Friend of yours? Yes. Wow. I'm glad I'm not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Who is he? Uh, he's one of the members of our community. This is Ebbles. Does he always look this bad? No. <laughs> He's a vampire. Do you smell this bad? <laughs> I mean, can uh, Ingve do uh, do a check? I mean, to see if he smells death on him or everybody insight check. Mm. Eleven. Eighteen. Uh, Fourteen. Twenty-one. Uh, he doesn't smell like rotting. He does stink, but eh, none of you are daisies. So, uh, but he doesn't smell like rotted flesh. Mm. Uh, and, is there... and he is, he is just fucking unconscious. Uh, he will definitely have a detached retina. retina. <laughs> <laughs> Almost hasn't. Uh, like my. Uh... Azari's uh, favorite enemy is uh, aberrations. Mm -hmm. um, he wouldn't happen to be like been changed or shifted to as such, would he? Oh. Okay. Your spider sense does not go off saying that. Okay. But so um, I, I, I will entertain actions at this time. Is he? Uh, is going to check to see if he's still alive. He's alive. <laughs> okay. Um, I will, uh, I will tie, I will start tying his wrists and ankles together. Okay. As, uh, as Rock here is, uh, taking a closer look. <laughs> <laughs> Go over to his ears. <laughs> uh, Azari, as you bind him, you notice that he is dry. Really? 
Uh, you also notice that he has a knot rising on his forehead where Ingve cracked him one. Ingve's going to cast Healing Word. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, uh, eight points of healing to all who need it. With ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, you hear Peck Peck muttering underneath his breath, Jesus Christ, no wonder they treat me like shit. This is how they treat their friends. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where'd this guy come from? We think he was stolen from our village, just like this. your, your friend was stolen. But we think something has happened to him and turned him into a vampire. What is a vampire? It's something that makes you He's look not like a this. vampire. <laughs> well, no, it, it just we think he's been changed, possibly. That's why we want to be. Was really he a woman sure. beforehand? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what uh, Do you think his there are orientation more? is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there are more of your people? Uh, possibly. There might be. That? I'm gonna check the trail that he, the path he made, mm. or path he came up here. I'm gonna kind of follow it and see if I can. A lot of footprints in this sandy area, except for where it turns into a rock. Uh, the rocks are uh, unusually angled. Um, like stairs. What are stairs? Well, let's rush headlong into danger. Like a step, like uh, something to help you step up. Uh, and Ba, it was all slopes. Yeah. Mm. So these would be more like uh, squares. Squares. Mm. Steps. Mm. Angles. Well, we'll... Little I'll, cliffs. How is I Apples will, looking at this point? Uh, unconscious. Yeah. Okay. But I'm healing? Gonna, oh, I'm after healing. Stealth up. Okay. I'm going to uh, follow it a little bit and keep stealthing just to see if I can find anything. You notice that the rocks seem to be placed in very defined positioning, er, uh, i.e. Uh, the same width and distance uh, mm -hmm. as it goes on an incline, incline, incline. Uh, mm -hmm. Sand and uh, debris cover the sides as it slopes down. Is Azari going by himself or is anyone else going? Oh, Dave follows Azari. I'm, I'm going to follow Dave. I'm going to start stealthing up. So, Stealth roll, please. Seven, I'm going to make, sure, make sure Ebbles makes it. 18 plus 5, 23. Uh, you move uh, silently on this area. Ingve and Rakir, uh, with the healing given to uh, Ebbles, uh, he starts to come too. Uh, 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 thousand yard stare. Uh, yeah. The light. The light. Ebbles. Uh, Ebbles looks at both of you. Zero recognition. Zero recognition. Just okay. has these this crazed look on his face, and the only word that you caught was light. Light. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. Ingve tries to um. Uh. Just a line of questionings. Try to get any kind of recognition out of him. He's like Ebbles. Ebbles. Do you recognize us? Uh, 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 light. Uh, 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 Tell us about this light. <laughs> uh, light. Uh, uh, light. Uh, yeah, there's a light. <laughs> Um, uh, D D twelve against me, Ingve. All right. Oh no. Yeah, that's. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Roll on, you Kool Aid man. Uh, two. That's the only word that uh, you guys recognize is light. Is light. Okay. Uh, Azari, Dave, Peck Peck, uh, as you reach the top of this unusual incline, 
you see before you uh, overgrown grass, uh, but a, a, a peculiar meadow. Uh, there's uh, some grass, a lot of compressed grass, and you see about 11 uh, shambling humanoid figures uh, moving about in no particular direction. They're all saying the same thing. Uh, they aren't saying shit. Beyond them uh, is an unusual structure made of light colored stone, but it is unlike anything that you have ever seen. It has more of these squared rocks leading up to a double door uh, made of black shiny wood uh, some of the stone is broken up into open areas uh, and those areas have debris inside of them uh, the bodies of these people <clears throat> peck peck recognizes some you guys recognize some and then you recognize some of the bad guys milling about all of them just shambling along every once in a while, bumping into each other and moving off. Okay. Ingve and Rakir, uh, you look up, you see those three kind of peering over the incline. What do you two want to do with uh, uh, the Rhodes Scholar that you have tied up down here? Uh, is there any shelter, uh, trees, shade, anything like that? You're at the bottom of a cliff. So no, no, okay. just a lot of debris. Okay, um, I guess we just drag him to the side, just to where he's out of the way and out of danger. I guess. Sure. Is there a is there like a little rock or anything beside me, like just a little piece of rock? Yeah. I'm like gonna grab it. Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna grab it and throw it down at eBay and Rakir get their attention <laughs> d20 with dex is a modifier <laughs> oh man somebody's gonna get hit <laughs> yeah, i want you to get hit <laughs> natural 20 oh, uh, oh good plus three so that's 23 bingo uh as ingve and rakir you start to drag uh out evels away a rock careens off his dome and he goes unconscious again. <laughs> <laughs> I look that, up and, it's, that, and I see where it comes from. Uh, and with that, uh, Rakir falls on top of Ebbles. Uh, Rakir, D12 against me. 11. Uh, Ingve and Rakir, you hear this loud, unusual, <laughs> and Ebel's eyes, and Ebel's isn't moving anymore as Rakir's <laughs> knee has made contact into Ebel's no. neck and. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well done, boys. <laughs> Oops. Uh, up top, Azari. <laughs> actually, I would think Azari would actually see it happen, and Azari probably wouldn't care at this point. It's just probably not. like he, like these people, like he's okay with Bob people for the most part, but he really only cares about, for the most part, his team and his right. family. Everybody else is kind of just. Azari like, turns to Peck Peck and says, that son of a bitch asked my daughter to, or my sister to prom. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Igbe looks up and he's like, nice shooting, Tex. <laughs> so Azari's uh, motioning up for you. Rakir, oh, you feel so horrible. So terrible. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> you turn hey, down and look at his eye and it's like, nah, that guy's dead. Uh, I missed it. It looks as though Rakir has uh, killed our I tripped. <laughs> he tripped. <laughs> he tripped. Because he was dragging and Azari 
knocked him unconscious and Rockier trips over. Uh, it's Rockier's fault. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do shit, man. <laughs> Look, if the uh, rock takes you out, then you deserve to. Then you deserve to. <laughs> so the bound, the bound and still body uh, of what used to be Ebbles is now just chum for sharks. Uh, Ingve and Rockier, you see Azari motioning for you guys to come in. Damn. Yeah, we, we just, do. We just dropped the body. <laughs> nice. Uh, we <laughs> tried, Ingve. We tried. We, we tried. really did. <laughs> you guys climb these unusual stones of elevation. Uh, you get up to the top. Uh, you see Peck Peck, Dave, and Azari, you know, kind of motion out in this uh, bowl shaped grove or meadow. Uh, you see that the grass here. It's been pretty well tamped down because the random paths of all these shambling humanoids that Peck Peck has already uh, pointed out. Uh, he knows some of them. You guys clearly know some of them. Azari, now you don't see your sister. Uh, and then you all hear a gasp. And then you hear voodoo. 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 Brother. That one's my brother. Voodoo. I'm, I'm going to go get him. And he starts to stand up. I'm going to put my arm on, or put my hand on Peck Peck's shoulder and sit him back down and go, Peck Peck. That's my brother. That's good. But I believe. I don't want I'll... you to throw a rock at him and have Rock here kill him again. <laughs> <laughs> that is reasonable. However, I believe all the people here are ensorcelled. Okay. <laughs> we need to get to the we need to get to the temple, this temple structure, and investigate there. Maybe that, if that, we can stop the that there. structure. Yeah, yeah I, every, everybody now sees this strange stone structure uh, with the elevated stones. Uh, 50, kind, 50. Of, kind of molded stones in a circular formation, i.e. columns, uh, adorn either side of these stones. Uh, for our perspective, it looks like a library, a Carnegie library. Uh, Moodoo, uh, and starts to head your direction. Uh, still shambling, thousand yard stare, moving slowly ahead. Uh, Azari, uh, your words have uh, connected, and Peck Peck is holding his position. Uh, the others just kind of fucking rambling around. Uh, but as this is uh, starting to become evening, everybody perception check. 16 plus 5, 21. 30, 20. Uh, 11. Uh, 16. Uh, everybody but Rock here and Peck Peck, uh, you notice a faint glow coming from the back of this building inside the structure itself. Uh, there are Rectangular openings along the face of this structure, and the glow is coming from in there. It looks like a pulsing glow, maybe pink. Mm. Uh, the wanderers are unaffected by it whatsoever. We'll need How to get in there. How far is the structure? Yeah. Back part of the structure. How well, far is it? Well, if you go in through the front door, the front door is about 30 feet away. Uh, if you go around back, uh, you would have to kind of get to an elevated position to get into these rectangular windows. Uh, or you can check the back to see if there's an entrance there. A lot of the lost souls are back in the back, just kind of meandering around. It's all right, well, it seems the simplest way would be the front door. Okay. Move faster than these creatures, or than the people who are ensorcelled, they're slower. So we can okay. run, or we can stealth or see if they'll even pay attention to us. 
get I'm in there. Mimic their movements. I'm just gonna kind of just, you know, shamble around the same way. So I got Azari stealthing, Rakir mimicking, Ingve, Dave stealthing, stay and uh, Ingve. Uh, following suit, uh, stealthing. Okay. Uh, Keeping an Rakir, eye on Rakir. <laughs> Rakir's going to try and kill the queen if you're a big uh, Shaun of the Dead fan. Yeah. Uh, Azari, Ingve, and Dave, give me stealth rolls, please. <clears throat> 23. Nice. Uh, 19. God damn it, Ingve. Uh, Azari and Dave, you God manage damn it. to use the, the cover of the trees to go out. Ingve, as you shoot across the opening, uh, some kind of metal object, uh, black metal object, uh, something you've never seen before, uh, was tipped over in the grass and you eat it. Uh, ah. as, as you do, Rakir, uh, uh, give me... Uh, I don't know. Give me a charisma check. Let's see if you fit in nicely with these these people. I'm on the ground doing the Peter Griffin. <laughs> ah. Ooh, finally a nat twenty. That's when I needed it. Oh yeah, you, they are they're ignoring you completely. But uh, as you shamble along, you notice Azari and Dave really being stealthy you see Ingve nearly snap his own neck uh you might want to go over and check on him <laughs> uh, as he falls but Ingve, uh as you get up you and rakir notice that peck peck has tackled his brother and thrown him over his shoulder oh shit. and is now a little bit belabored headed towards the front entrance with his sibling uh, over his shoulder just going oh, no. straight for the door huh straight for the door breakneck speed passing by you he got an 18 it's like backdraft you know <laughs> <laughs> so azari and dave uh you reach these stairs uh elevated up and the wood is black but doesn't feel like wood it has a uh, Black metal rings, one on each of these strange wooden doors. Uh, they are ajar, so they are not unlocked. Uh, a strange smell emanates from the interior. Uh, you don't know what it is. Uh, then you hear, <laughs> as uh, the fireman carry, uh, Peck Peck has his brother, Uh, Ingve, uh, 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 do I oh, do I uh, notice? Do shot, I notice? Shot in the knee. <laughs> do I, uh, I used to be an adventurer, but then I took an arrow to the That's knee. Right. Uh, do I notice what I tripped over? Yeah. Wait, am I able to discern? Not what? a clue. No, okay. no idea. How big are we talking? I mean, about like this, or about four feet wide. And like that, mm -hmm. and stakes like that. Oh shit! I'm like, yeah, I really didn't hurt myself. Um, Rock here uh, uh, gets to the steps. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, there, there are still humanoid <clears throat> shambling around. They, they either haven't seen you or don't give a shit. Uh, you stand on a very smooth uh, metal, or I'm sorry, a smooth rock face. Uh, it's white with veins of black marble uh, here. And these strange black wooden doors uh, with rings attached to them. Mm. Uh, everybody else notices the strange smell. Uh, peck, peck. What's that smell? It's <laughs> not him. Discern what the smell is? Never smelled it in your life. Hmm. Uh, Ingve's gonna, again, try to stealth his way to the others. 
Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, you're hopping. You're, yeah, you're like, that's what I'm saying. You're like trying to hit the goal line, and there is a linebacker yeah, zooming, zooming in. Zooming on my ass, yeah. Uh, but you, you make it up there. Uh, you kind of have a tough time navigating these steps. Right. Uh, but you make it up there. Everybody is in one piece. Uh, Peck Peck has his brother, clearly younger because he's smaller. Uh, you can see the facial resemblance here. Let us check through the door. Um, Who wants to look through the door? I'll do it. Uh, you pull open the door slightly. You see do, 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 do. two humanoids. Ba and Ba. Two residents of Ba. They do not appear to be injured, although their face and skin are ashen, their clothes tattered. Uh, they each have ropes, but the ropes have been cut. So clearly at some point in time they were bound. They are no longer bound. Uh, as you look in, the, the level floor is just impressive. Uh, there is some debris, natural debris, leaves, twigs, things of that nature inside here uh but this this floor has this most impressive colorful drawing on it uh and that is what you notice secondarily uh you've got two ba residents shambling around uh as you start to take <clears throat> in this area as the last rays of the day uh crop in you look up and you notice the ceiling is invisible, but there is something up there. Uh, it is a, in like a cone shape, but you can see the sky through this transparent ceiling. Mm. Uh, and then you focus in on something truly unusual. Uh, the structure itself is open uh, all the way to the back, where again, transparent walls are present and you see uh, what is causing the glow and the source of this irregular light hovers about three feet off the ground and it is your sister her eyes white shimmering in light hovering and this is an excellent point to stop. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. So there you go, Azari. <laughs> my She's alive ish. <laughs> She's alive ish. My sister is possessed by an <laughs> evil creature. Even better. The evil light demon. Oh, for fuck's sake. Vampire. She's a fucking vampire. She's a vampire. <laughs> She's a vampire. Uh, Dave, what'd you think? Holy crap. That's a lot of think. Dave doesn't think very well, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, I wasted a rage on a fish, but that's the way it goes when you think it's going to be an alligator. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dave, Ingve, Rakir, and Peck Peck, you don't see Azari's sister yet. Okay. <laughs> uh, so Azari, you're the one taking in this view. Uh, what do you think? Um, Shit. I Shit. am uh, a little conflicted. I don't know... It gets worse. I'm hoping I don't <laughs> have to do what I think I'm going to do, but I'm pretty sure I will. Um, so, uh, yeah, you have, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not 11 minutes. Uh, Everybody's going to be scared from now on when Frank asks that Don't have me roll percentages. <laughs> David, what'd you think? <laughs> I enjoyed it. I did. It did. It really did. Good. Uh, and last but not least, Scott. Uh, I, I, that was a, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, there were some, there were some, you know, genuine peril there, uh, you know, falling off the you know, cliff and then trying to find, uh, you know, uh, trying to find a way around and what to do. And, uh, and, uh, and, and I got to, I finally got to find a way to, 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 to kill someone with, with Ingwe looking, so I'm really happy about that. I'm just surprised he didn't like kill somebody, gut him, or gut 
elbows smeared himself with like blood and tried no, to blood in sorry, with I, 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 I can't hear you <laughs> I only have one ear uh, <laughs> folks this has been Murder Hobo Inc thank you for joining us on the Calamity Edition we'll be back in two weeks follow us on Twitch follow us on Twitter take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit about D&D join our Discord most importantly, if you want to be on the one shot next Saturday, a week from tonight, one shot, uh, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. Last week, we had three brand new hobos. Uh, so, you know, maybe you can come in, sit around for two hours and enjoy it. Uh, they did well, too. They did really well. They, they did. Uh-huh. Surprisingly. They did good. Yeah, it was an awesome room. Because I I wanted to screw them over, but I just didn't have the heart. Uh, Don't forget, if you want some custom dice, check out at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. Uh, Hit them up. uh, Tell them what you want. See if they can do it. Uh, Don't forget, Oddfish Games, maker of Adventure Sense, makes your games smell like uh, possessed siblings, is what I'm going to say. Uh, don't forget they also have the shine system and how to RPG with your cat. Uh, Tuesday, folks, huge monster announcement on Between the Rolls. You don't really want to miss it. Uh, you can always watch it later if you don't have the time, but watch it live. Uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. Uh, folks, again, this has been the Calamity Edition and FYI, Azari, uh, the sides of the walls look a lot like that. <laughs> oh, big ass library. Yeah, that's right. You guys have never smelled processed paper before. Uh, folks, thank you for joining us. Let's give them a big dating game kiss and wave. Um, wow. Bye, everybody.